What's going on guys? Another episode of The Last Seven Sneakers Worn. Before I get started though, make sure you guys leave in the comments what you guys wore recently or what you laced up. I'm always curious and I'm always you know, interested in checking out the comments. So go ahead and leave a comment down below what you wore and let's get into it. Alright guys, first one I would say is the all white, cocaine white, Jordan 4. People call these the Peers, the Chromes. Nice shoe all around all white very good condition and this is a shoe that i obtained recently i had it before in the past but i had to let it go very glad to have this back again in the collection and i've been wearing this ever since all right next of course we had to have the flyknit free 4.0 definitely a shoe that is probably a staple for me as far as like every week Definitely have to have one of these. I have a bunch of different colorways. Decided to rock this colorway. This is more of like a Jamaican um, colorway, I would say. It's like an orange green. In the bottom, you got like some orange pods and black pods right there. So that's number two. All right, next, Bread 11s. And these are from the 2001 era. I actually have a couple of pairs of these, but um, still one of my favorite 11s to wear. Especially this model because in 2001 the padding is a lot better it feels a lot more comfortable than the new 11s that we're used to and the cut on the patent leather is really nice as you can see it's really high up as opposed to the leather we get now definitely classic bread 11s from 2001 as you can see that jump man's going a different way all right next guys this is a ultimate beater shoe for me Roshi Run, just the classic black, gray, and white. I don't know how many times I've beat these up, but just slip them on. Got that blue insole. Really comfortable, really light shoe that you can pretty much do anything in, except I would say you, I wouldn't recommend doing any running in these. There's like really no traction for that. I know they call these the Roshi Run, but this is technically not a running shoe, I would say. I wouldn't run in these. But yeah, Roshi runs. All right, next we have the Adidas SL Loop. This is the, geez, I forgot the colorway on this, but this is more of like a brownish, tannish with the Volt on the interior, Volt on the laces. You guys know how I am with the SL Loops. Very comfortable shoe. And this one is a, the more rugged model. This is the TR model. So on the bottom here, you can actually see like an aggressive um, outsole on there. Really nice, you got speckles on the midsole. You can see that there, SL Loops. All right, next I had to un-DS these. Had these for a while now. Um, this is the reason why many people got that Gift of Flight Pack. Pantone 11s. Big fan of the 11s, of course. And uh, this is definitely a head turner. I mean, especially if you wear shorts and then like black socks and then you just have this on. Definitely a head turner. And I'm really digging this interior. I wish Jordan Brandon or Nike would use this more often. I can't even describe what this is, but it's, there's like a lot of patterning zigzags within the liner and it's like really comfortable. It feels like a higher quality interior that we're used to seeing. But yeah, Pantone 11s. Last, we have the Copper Foams but these are blacked out. I've been wearing these quite often. Uh, just kind of wanted to get a feel and kind of test out the dye because of course you can see that I dyed the soles black. And um, for the most part, the dye has kind of stayed. I mean, it's been okay. As you can see there, it hasn't really rubbed off and it uh, looks really nice this way too. Definitely a lot better like this than with the yellowing outsoles on there. All right, guys, there's my last set of sneakers wore. Again, leave comments down below on what you laced up recently. And if you're looking for on-feet picks, definitely check out my Instagram. I try to post on-feet picks when I can. Sometimes if it's not in a good spot or the lighting's bad, I just end up not posting them. But check out Instagram, Twitter, Snups. The links are down below. And, uh, yeah, talk to you guys later. Peace.